Hello everyone there on YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing my first cosplay work log. So today I'm going to be working on some armor for my character cosplay. Now I actually bought the cosplay because I don't like making long cloaks. And it came with armor, which is okay. The armor isn't that great. I'll show it to you right now. So here's the main chest armor. It's not the best. It's not very detailed. It's like a pleathery kind of bendy material. I'm going to remake it to make it a little bit more sturdy and a little bit more accurate as well. Here's the shoulder armor. It's not that great either. I mean, it's okay, but I'd like mine to be a little, little more 3D. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'll see you all in my little cosplay workstation. AKA my basement. I started by drawing out my armor on a sheet of craft foam and I cut it out. After all the shapes were cut out, I glued them together with some E6000. I also trimmed the edges to make them a little neater. Once all your armor is how you want it, it's time for Warbla. I left an extra one and a half inches around the piece so I can fold it over the edges to make them look nice. Heat up your Warbla until it looks wet and place your armor upside down on top. Fold over the edges and flip it back over. Now it's time to define all the details. I'm using a little wooden stick and pressing it into the warbler around the edges and the rings. This will make all of the details you created before really pop. Take your time with this step and make it look nice. All I did for the shoulder armor was make three little divots on each side. Finally, I heated up the pieces one more time and shaped them to my body. Then I let them cool completely. Painting on warbler as it is will make it look really rough and textured. So to make your warbler all nice and smooth, cover each piece with 3-5 to five coats of wood glue. This part may seem tedious, but it actually doesn't take as long as you might think. Now it's time for the fun part! PAINTING! Start off by priming and then spray on a coat of glossy black paint. After that's dry, spray on some metallic silver. Look at the shininess! This part is optional, but I like to work some black acrylic paint into the nooks and crannies. I did this using a dry brush method. To do this, dip your brush in some paint and rub it off on a paper towel until there's barely any paint left. Then just add some paint where you deem necessary. This really makes the details pop and gives the impression that the armor has been used. I also added some black felt to the back so the paint wouldn't rub off my costume. Now add some snaps and velcro to your pieces. Attach them to your costume, and they're done! Wasn't feeling the wig today. Just, just, no. It, no. So here's the finished result. It looks pretty good. Blech. I'm too short. Yes, you can see the armor. It's on my chest fairly decently. There, you see it a little better. And the shoulder armor, a little lower than I would like it, but you know what? That's fine. I think it still looks pretty cool, and I still like the weather handed on it. So if you enjoyed this cosplay work vlog, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. I really had a lot of fun making this, and it looks so cool, I think it was all worth it. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.